Hey everybody, Mark here with another exciting episode of Clearing the Cloud, making the internet work for you. Now in the past, most of the episodes have been focused on things that, that save you time. They've been time-saving techniques and tips. This one's not so much of a time saver, but it's something that might save your bacon, depending on your situation. Now I know we've all got those relatives who think that Facebook is just the perfect place to store and archive all their important family pictures, right? Uh, I, I don't do it, but I know people who do and you can't talk them out of it. So what this tip does is it shows you how you can automatically download every picture that you upload to Facebook to Dropbox. And that means that that picture is saved in the cloud at Facebook. It's saved in the cloud at Dropbox. And it's also saved to every computer that you sync Dropbox to. And that's important because that's a lot of backups and it's not relying on the cloud as a backup because you have that Dropbox synced folder on, like I said, all your computers. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So what you want to do is you want to create a recipe. Now this assumes that you have a Facebook account and that you have an if this then that account and that you have a Dropbox account. If you don't have an if this then that account and you're a little worried about the way things work, go back and look at the very first episode of Clearing the Cloud. I'll show you how to set things up and how do you make how to feel comfortable with, with using it. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a trigger. So that's this. And that trigger is going to be Facebook. Now, if you look at Facebook, they've got quite a few different um, triggers here. And one of those is a new photo upload by you. So any picture that you upload to Facebook will uh, action this trigger. Now, if you look down, there's another one down here. You are tagged in this photo. That's another recipe that I use, basically the same thing. Anytime somebody uploads a picture, to Facebook and has me in it, then it gets downloaded to Dropbox. So that's that's another one that you can do right there. But let's go ahead and do the new photo upload by you because we're talking about archiving what we upload, right? So there's no triggers, uh, no fields to complete for the trigger. So we'll go ahead and do complete uh, create trigger. And now we're going to do the that. And of course, the that is Dropbox right here. And what we'll want to do is add file from URL. Basically, what we're getting from Facebook is, is a URL, you know, the part that starts off with HTTP, of the picture itself. So what this means is it's going to add the file from the URL. So the URL is of the picture, so it's going to download from that URL and create a file on Dropbox of the picture. I hope that makes sense. And as you can see, we've got quite a few ingredients that we can add uh, to the action uh, from Facebook. You can see the different ingredients there, uploaded by, photo URL, photo small, photo source, photo caption. But what we're using is image source. That's the default, so we'll go ahead and use that. And then for the file name, because it creates the file, it's, it's not going to give it uh, whatever Facebook has named it in in the in in its database, it's it's gonna it's gonna create a name for it based on your caption. Now you can leave this blank, and it will be a bunch of letters and numbers that are kind of random because that's what Facebook uses, and and it'll default to that if you leave this blank. But if you put the caption in there, it will make it a file name friendly version of the caption. It'll it'll take out anything that's that's not allowed in a file name, and it'll put. Uh, this character and that character, but but it, it, it'll work fine. And what we'll go ahead and do here is it for the uh, folder path is since I had the two different recipes, like I mentioned earlier, one for pictures of me and one for um, things that I've uploaded, I've actually got two different folders. So then that way they don't get mixed up. So we'll call this one upload. So Facebook underscore upload. And we'll go ahead and do that create action. And what we will call it is um, Facebook picks to Dropbox. Create recipe and voila. 
So now when we go to Facebook, you can see here, this is my fake personal account. And what I'll do is I will take the Clearing the Cloud logo and I will upload it to Facebook. And this is the account that I've got set up for uh, Clearing the Cloud demos. So you, you've seen me before use the Facebook page for Clearing the Cloud, but this time I'm using my personal account because that's, that's probably what you'll be using. So we will do a post. And you can see it's posted there. So now let's go back to if this, then that. And we will go ahead and have it check. And guess what? We've got this notification that it downloaded the file and you can see this, this, this file name, it's crazy. You noticed I didn't put a caption in there, right? This is the file name that Facebook has assigned to that picture. Now let's go ahead and do another one. All right. And I will call it, this is a logo. How's that for a caption? I'll go ahead and post that. And then we will do the check and you'll see the notification up in the corner and everything. See, this is a logo.jpg. So now what we can do is we can go up here to our Dropbox and, and keep in mind, this is the same as it is on Windows, except in the top right, it'll be in the bottom right. So if we go to the Dropbox folder and go to if this, then that, go to Facebook upload, we will see those two pictures. There you go. And as you can see, that's that's a crazy file name. That That is a, a, a random number generated by Facebook for for use in, in naming this file so then that way they can access it. And you can see here where it's named the file after after the caption. So keep in mind this one I didn't have a caption for so it just used the the um, file name that, that Facebook used. So as you can see this is on my computer and it'll be on any computer that I sync with. We could also go to Dropbox's website and we can get it there. Uh, it's still on Facebook, so if, if, if you lose it in one of those places, you've got it in the other, so you've got a good backup. So I hope you find this tip useful. Um, I will have a link in the show notes to the first episode where we talk about creating an If This Then That account, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.